And we are continuing to monitor that threat for severe weather into the day on Thursday. This looks pretty nasty, doesn't it? But this is not the severe weather that we're tracking right now. It's just some rain across the upstate mountains, most of it up in the mountains, and we could end up with some localized flooding by early tomorrow morning. So be extra careful hitting the roads. And of course you will be with that severe weather risk, but just keep in mind the other threat that we may not have been talking about as much is the fact that we could see at least some flooding in the area, uh, but we're not expecting anything widespread. That rain continues from Clemson over toward Greenville. Look at this line of storms, though. Luckily, not tornadic. But it's going to be driving some very strong wind into Montgomery here shortly. We're going to be seeing the effects of this line as it gets here tomorrow morning into the afternoon. And embedded within that line, we could have rotating storms that would cause tornadoes and especially the damaging wind threat too uh, in the leading edge of all of that. So we'll be watching it closely as it gets here tomorrow morning. 56 degrees in the upstate tonight, though. Rain overnight, not expecting any severe weather before 6 or 7 in the morning. That would be uh, the beginning time frame to start really being on guard. Low 50s expected across the mountains, upper 60s to low 70s through the day tomorrow. Storms will be ongoing, but should end by about four o'clock at the latest in the upstate, ending by two in western North Carolina. Uh, this is such a big deal. We have not seen an expansive level four risk like this across the Carolinas and Georgia, at least in my memory of being here in the Carolinas over the last 13 years. This is pretty incredible to see such a large area of high risk for potential tornadoes. And our upstate counties included in this south of I-85, that's the first time in four years that we've had any piece of the upstate included in that kind of risk. Now the storm timing 6 to 10 a.m. as we get into our western sections, find your location on here. I know it can be tricky sometimes, but we've got Oconee County, Seneca uh, locations up in western North Carolina, Bryson City, 6 to 10 a.m. for these spots. Then it's going to get a little later for spots like Greenville uh, easily. Spartanburg, and then as we go toward the eastern part of our area, Gaffney Union, noon to four o'clock. Here's a look at our upgraded extended model that is actually a high resolution model. 6 a.m., that's when we're going to expect that line of storms to be at least starting to roll in. The worst of it in the upstate likely toward around 10 a.m. with this line and could end up seeing the brief rotating storms, but good news is it moves out really fast. We're going to see all of it out by about two to four in the afternoon. Looking ahead, well, much nicer weather. In fact, we're looking at a beautiful weekend for the first uh, day of spring, but it's going to be a little bit cooler with highs in the 50s, so ironically won't feel so spring-like, but we'll enjoy that sunshine after such a stormy day on Thursday. And you're going to want to tune in for the morning news. First thing, 4.30 a.m. to 11 a.m., an extended version. We'll be bringing you team coverage as this weather rolls through.